My name is Ru Ji Chao Huang. I'm a professor at Johns Hopkins University. I'm interested in the, in the field because I published a paper which is my own work. And that's the reason, yeah, I'm, a, I'm a going into the field because of that. I've graduated from National Taiwan University and uh, come to United States in 1953 and uh, at attending Virginia Tech, in Virginia Tech for a master's degree, then a PhD degree in Ohio State University. After that, I came to Caltech with a very famous biologist called Dr. Man, uh, James Bonner. And it is in his lab I started to be uh, doing very creative research in the department uh, of biology at Caltech. This goes to uh, four years and get to the t time of 1965, Johns Hopkins, there's a position as, as assistant professor at that level, and I was the first woman to get that one. So since 1965 to now, it's already 50, 58 years uh, already. So <laughs> in two more years, I will be in this university as chair professor uh, for 60 years. My expertise is, is the basic science on how life begins and continue, and the gen basic mechanism involving these processes. My recent interest based on that is to do cancer research, try to prevent cancer to, to, to happen to metastasis, and most importantly is to see the drug I develop doesn't hurt normal cells. Cancer cells are heterogeneous, so in order to uh, control that, you have to uh, understand mechanism of cancer growth and uh, try to use uh, the target the ones are important controlling cancer. So we, we have found that, yeah. In the long run, I would like to see human beings can live beyond 100 years old, still healthy. My mentors, I have three mentors. First is the one, I first, when I first got into the United States in the graduate school, his name is Mailer Hale. Then at uh, Ohio State, I have my mentor is, is uh, Joe Vaughner, yeah. Then at, at uh, Caltech, my mentor is James Bonner. They all three, <laughs> uh, unfortunately, passed away, and uh, I'm very sad about that, but they really helped me to pick, to help me grow up and to be knowing what we are trying to do. And uh, for that, I have become an independent scientist in the, in, in the meantime, raise a family. I'm very grateful to the United States and uh, for, I'm the first year immigrant. And uh, not only I marry, uh, many, many scientists, and I also have met many, many uh, non-scientists. In the meantime, uh, I married my husband, Professor P.C. Huang, I have two children, uh, Super Huang and Suzanne Huang, and uh, they have, uh, Super has three children, and they are all doing very well. So this is the country allows me to not only have a nice family and also have a, a good profession. The two things can go together. In my case, I'm very grateful. Yeah. The most important things in the science part is when you see something interesting, have some 
idea. You should follow that to do an experiment. Once you have that, you should follow up what's to, to develop, further development is the most important part in doing science, yeah. This is different in my heart. There's the United Nations. I want to see nations can be united again as a whole. To work hard, let the scientists and the technologists and uh, yeah, to do things together to solve the problem of human beings together. To see people in different nations can work together in the scientific level and uh, work closely to each other. And I, I was using one case like a botanical drug and to isolate the important compound which is not toxic to normal cells yet it specifically uh, can, can control the growth of the cancer. That, that kind of thing. In different countries, you have a different botanical plants, and they can call this their own. But from that, you can help them, can help each other to develop their original, in their original land, the, the treasure. That is together, you can see them who would like to work together. Yeah. The, the things that happen to have in the United States, the plants may not happen in Africa and vice versa. So we help them to develop theirs. However, together we we'll work out the ways to do this. That's the idea. You can bring them to this together. So that you don't have to, each person do little things. You work together the method and develop the creative the method of doing that. Then eventually, the different scientists to work and cook together can help all the countries. In that way, uh, I, I think the, the human health will be benefited. My only hope is to see that happen.